Okay, welcome to part two of the Aged Pots tutorial. If you've seen part one, you'll have seen how I use the texture medium, added it into the paint, and then layered up some layers of texture onto some pots to create a kind of aged stony finish. I'll just show you the pots I made in that tutorial. So we did this one, which is a kind of darker aged stony look. Um, that was just a, a um, old pot, uh, bowl. And then this was actually a glass jug that I painted onto, did exactly the same thing, added the texture into the paint and created that kind of stony finish. And um, it's holding up really well. Just wanna show you how well the paint's actually sticking to the glass. So don't be scared to paint glass. So that's what we did in the first tutorial. So if you haven't seen that, go and watch that because then you'll be able to see how I started off this pot layering up um, these layers of texture. So I did this in the first tutorial too. Um, put the layered um, texture paint on. I actually left this one out in the sun to dry, so you can see it's cracked beautifully. So I wanted that to kind of give it that sort of aged effect. So if you if you can't um, if you haven't got hot sun, you can always use a, a hair dryer to to crack the paint. So um, just when it's on really nice and thick, you're just going to put a hot hair dryer over it, and it'll crack as it dries. Um, and I also just pressed in those little details there. I actually just used the inside of a cotton reel, but you could use a um, pen lid or any circular thing really, just to kind of press it into the thick paint and create that pattern. So it's gonna look like it's a sort of handmade um, aged terracotta pot. And in this tutorial, we will be mixing up some different colors um, to create some beautiful earthy shades to layer up on here. Okay, so these are the colours I'm going to be using. I've got five Plain Jane colours. Uh, the first one is Pinot, which is this gorgeous, deep, sort of whiny red colour. We've got Pepperberry, which is a dusky pink. Atomic, which is this bright, strong orange. And then Mud Pie, kind of a chocolatey brown colour. And flotsam which is this sort of soft, soft stony kind of neutral so I've got those five colors but I'm actually going to mix some of them together to create some new colors so we'll um, build up those layers on the pot so first I mixed a 50 50 mix of pinot and atomic to create this uh, deep rich terracotta Next, I mix some pepperberry and atomic, again 50-50 mix to create an orange terracotta. And then finally, I mixed again 50-50 mix of atomic and mud pie. Okay, so I've mixed up my um, colors. So they're all pretty much 50-50 mix of two colors. Um, this one, is atomic with mud pie so it's giving that real kind of orangey brown color um quite a probably was quite fashionable in the 70s this color <laughs> don't really see it much these days mission brown i think it was called in australia um so yeah that's uh 50 50 mud pie and atomic and then this orangey terracotta is 50 50 atomic again with pepperberry so that creates that lovely kind of orangey terracotta. And then this one was the Pinot with the Atomic 50-50 again. So that's more of a sort of deeper terracotta color. But I think once we um, layer these all up together, they'll create a really um, nice finish. So I'm gonna work in layers. So what I mean is I'm gonna um, apply some paint and then I'm gonna let it dry and then I'm gonna come back and put on another layer. So I'm gonna start with the darker colors, I think. And I'm just going to use um, a screwed up shopping bag. So it's just a plastic shopping bag. You need to scrunch it up so you get lots of kind of crinkles in it. And I'm gonna use this to apply the paint. And what that means is it doesn't look like somebody put it on with a paintbrush. So it's all gonna be kind of very random and organic, which is what we want. I'm gonna start with the deeper colors. So I think we're gonna start with um, this mixture, which was the Mud Pie and Atomic. Just gonna, I'm going to do the darker colours a bit heavier around the bottom. So actually, I'm just going to take a bit of that off. If you feel like you've got too much paint, um, then just kind of take it off. It's quite handy to do it on a plate. And then I'm just going to 
just going to randomly start off quite lightly. Randomly start applying the paint. See how it's kind of picking up on the high points? So I've been um, very random in the way that I've applied it. I've got it all over my hands as well. <laughs> this is all part of the fun. Um, so I have been very random, but I have actually purposefully, I don't know if you can see how I purposefully allowed some areas there to be more of a build-up of colour. So it's a little bit more solid in some areas. Um, so it, it's kind of applied randomly, but you want lighter and heavier areas, basically, if that makes sense. So I've chosen to um, put a sort of heavier um, bit of colour there and there and then sort of you know, lighter here. I tried to keep the bits that I like where, where it's chipping through to the um, underneath layers because I liked showing that. So, and then a heavier bit here. So try to um, be random, but I, with a little bit of intention, if that makes sense. You can't help but get messy when you do this. So if you don't want to get hands like this, you can always wear a pair of gloves. Okay, this is all part of the fun though. I like doing this. All right. So next I repeated the same thing with the mixture that I'd made from the Pinot and Atomic. Now don't worry too much about what it looks like because remember you're building up layers so you're going to be covering any bits you don't like you're just going to cover up with the next layer so don't be too hard on yourself or too fussy about how it's looking. Next, I went on with the orangey terracotta mixture with exactly the same technique. So I continue to just layer up the colours. I used um, all three of the colours that I'd mixed and also some of the original colours too. So uh, a little bit of the pepperberry, the mud pie, and also I bought in a little bit of the flotsam just to add a bit of highlights to it and basically just kept working away on the layers until I was happy with it. see how the layers are really starting to build up now and I've um, you can see where I've sort of purposefully kept some more solid areas so that there's a bit of a intention to the finish um, now if it starts to feel all sticky and messy and it feels like everything's getting into a gloopy mess just let it dry for I don't know it doesn't take long because you don't have a lot very thick layer of paint on there but just give it 10 minutes to dry or something and then you can carry on with the next layer. And um, yes, <laughs> feel free to um, wear gloves and um, change over to a clean bag in between if you want to. <laughs> kind of well let it dry in between and, and then just kind of stand back and have a look at it and just look at you know which bits are talking to you which bits do you think look authentic and then try and sort of do more of that basically any bits that you're not happy with you can just cover it up with the next layer so just keep on kind of layering and playing with it until you're happy so as you can see I did sort of concentrate some areas you know sort of put more of the terracotta here and the the darker colours down the bottom, some nice areas of the 
um, Pinot, which is that lovely red. Um, and then I've just actually, you probably can't even tell, but I actually used some of the original colours too. So the Pepperberry, which is the pink, I've just used a tiny little bit just to add a few highlights. And then I used a little bit of the Mud Pie as well on its own. So that, um, just used the five colours, but some of them were mixed and some of them I used on their own. And of course, as I was applying, some, some of them, they were kind of mixing up together on actually on the pot as well. So that's how it's looking. Um, I think I'm done with that stage and now I'm going to pop on a top coat and that will completely bring all the colours out and um, then a little bit of wax to finish it off. Okay, so I just watered down my top coat by about 10%, um, just so it's nice and runny. That way it won't get caught up in any of the texture on the uh, pot. And now when we put the top coat on, that's going to really bring the colours out. I applied the top coat with a brush uh, moving in lots of different directions to make sure that we didn't get any um, sort of blobs of top coat caught in amongst the texture. little bit the most fun bit and that is putting the colored wax on um, so I'm just going to get some dark brown wax I'm going to stab it down into the details particularly here where I um, did the little indents with the, the little circles so that, um, the pattern comes out so I'm just using a little um, detailing brush and I'm just going to literally stab it in let me angle you down so you can see glasses on actually so I can actually see what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to stab it in here. So it's going to sort of sit down in the low points and create shadow and give it a bit of sort of authentic age. Now so I've stabbed it all in and then I'm just going to get a cloth, soft cloth and just wipe it back. see how it's just kind of creating a bit of a shadow and sitting down in the details there. Now I want more of a shadow under here because um, if this was very old that area would probably have got dirtier and be more um, age looking. I'm also going to stab some into the where it's sort of raised here, it's textured. I don't know if you can tell in the video, but uh, I'm just going to stab some in there as well so it just sits in some of the little sort of cracks. I was really happy with how this pot turned out and um, absolutely love all those earthy reds and oranges all working together. 